become aware of the body, the presence of the body. Visualize it. Keep your eyes closed, though. And understand that there are ascendingly denser bodies. So just beyond surrounding and pervading or penetrating the physical body, there is, you can just visualize an energy body. Kind of like an aura. But it also pervades, penetrates, permeates the physical body. You can picture this as a series of colors, whatever comes to mind. And beyond that, you could visualize, if you had to pick a color, I would pick green for the body we just, the one that's right beyond the physical body. Then beyond that, beyond that energy body, if you will, there is a even more spacious, emptier, yet denser, more concentrated with light body that you can picture as sort of a transparent blue. And it's a little bigger than the energy body, but again, it permeates all aspects and components and rules over all aspects and components of the energy body and the physical body, the chemical body. And this body is already taking on the shape much more closely that of a sphere rather than the outline of arms and legs. The energy body, like the aura pictures that perhaps you've seen, you can visualize as sort of a faded human outline, but it's not as sharp. It's more cloudy, like a cloud, more fluffy. Now, beyond this energy body, you can picture the mental body, the body of the mind, where the mind is housed in, if you will, as this blue, potent, highly intelligent, highly wise, almost spherical, sort of oval body, and it's quite large. You can visualize this extending, let's just begin with about six feet or more beyond your skin line. But again, like a field, it permeates, it penetrates, it absolutely rules and dominates and pervades every portion of the energy body and the chemical body or the physical body. And just feel the lightness, the brightness, of this mental body and how much more light it contains, it lets through. Each body is like a filter, filtering the light of God, distorting it a little bit more, physicalizing it a little bit more, losing a little bit more of its original access to infinite intelligence. Now, beyond this body, picture a spherical body that's about the size of this room. Pure, pristine, white, containing the entire spectrum of light. You call this the bliss body, the body of light, the body of bliss. So imagine sort of a white field like you're inundated in a white swimming pool of light, very densely packed with vibration, very densely packed with consciousness, with aliveness, with ecstasy, with light. 
And again, this is pervading, penetrating, permeating, ruling and governing the bluish hue of the mental body, the energy body, or the auric body, and the physical body. Just like Wi-Fi can penetrate walls, so to this light body, this body of light, of bliss, penetrates the seeming outlines of the other body. There's no real boundaries or barriers for this bliss body. And the intelligence which it carries, which is highly impersonal at this level, And beyond that, picture the body of everythingness, of allness, of God. This is pure light itself. It has no outline. It has no sp space, time, location. It simply is the field of awareness, love, light, beingness. It's the pure body of allness. It's the body that comprehends, penetrates, pervades allness. It has no outline, not even that of a sphere. It's everywhereness, everythingness, nowhereness, no thingness, simultaneity. And again, this field governs and penetrates and rules in any which way over the bliss body which is the first stage of the individual, then the mental body, which is the first stage of the specific individual, the specifics of the individual, followed by the energy body, which are, again, more specific to the life of this entity, and then the physical body, which is the most specific, which is the most outlined, which is the most seemingly separated from this field of God, seemingly most individualized, most distinct. Now from the sense of the physical body, from the heart outward, if you will, include an awareness of the entire physical body and kind of like opening the pores of your physical body. It's almost like you're increasing the space between your atoms making the physical body more receptive, putting it in a receptive state, opening the cells, the, the pores of the body, the skin, the organs, allowing everything to open up to that greater energy body that surrounds you and pervades you. That body which is of a healthier, more intelligent, more concentrated, light-filled nature. And feel your physical body beginning to interact with the immediate three feet around it, with that energy field, which is subtler. It's not visible to the physical eye, usually. So allow the physical body to become like a sponge, absorbent, or like a magnet drawing in those more intelligent energies, aligning to those more intelligent blueprint energies that are here to aid and assist you in the increasing of your sensitivity, of your attentiveness, of your concentration, of your capacity to know, to be clear, and to be aligned to a higher blueprint. and get a sense of this body, which extends about three feet. From your physical body. Open up the floodgates, the seeming barrier between the physical body and the energy body. And allow this lines of communication to open up. Turn on your 
physical body's Wi-Fi so it can receive the signal, so to speak. Except the signal is actually good for the body. So absorbed like a magnet, drawing in those higher, denser energies. Now having a sense of that bigger body, let's do that again with the mind body, the mental body, the bluish you, which already is starting to look more like a, a perfect oval or sphere. It still has a bit of an outline of an individualized body, but again, it's more vague. Yet, it's denser in light. It's more concentrated in its translucency, transparency to the light of the Creator. It contains more intelligence, more pure, infinite intelligence is contained and channeled through this mental body. This is the mental body or the higher mind that guides you in this life. And you can picture it between 6 to 12 feet extending out from the physical body and the energy body. Feel the lightness of this blue hyper-intelligence, this perfect blueprint where dis-ease does not exist, where ailment does not arise, where confusion does not exist. It's much more pristine, like looking at a crystal. There's a solidity to it, a pristineness. Now open the pores of the physical and energy body to communicate outward to this greater body. This lighter body, this brighter body, this intenser body, this more perfected body, this less individuated body, more harmonious body, more natural body. And like a magnet or a sponge or a very open cellular structure, begin to receive and draw in the lights of this higher mind body, this bluish mental body, pristine, almost flawless. And really feel that spaciousness begin to contact more than just the physical body or the energy body, begin to really feel the sphere It's a diameter of about 10 meters all around you and feel how it penetrates you. So now you feel more like a field and less like a physical object. Feel more like an energy field, very clear, intelligent energy field. And allow that to really permeate the physical body. Really feel it enter the physical body, but stay identified as the field. Just see the physical body as an appearance inside that field. But you're filling it with the light of that higher body. You're drawing energy into it. Take a deep breath with your physical vehicle. Allow the energies to enter. Open up pervade and brighten up your day. Your mind becomes more awake, more lucid, without the need for coffee. It's like it starts to awaken to a higher energy. It starts to receive. A higher energy starts to enter the body, a greater sense of aliveness, unaffectedness, confidence, nothing could ever happen to me because I am this powerful, potent energy field. Feel that spaciousness. The outline being just kind of like a sphere, again with a diameter of about 10 meters around your other bodies. But emphasize the mind body, the blue body. Make it dense and vibrant. Feel as if that is your body. That's the vehicle with which you now move and navigate. Mm -hmm. 
It's the body that's kind of like a bridge. It channels a lot of light, a lot of God's light, but it's still very aware also of your individual needs and experiences, the world that you project and experience. It's still very aware of that, and it's very well equipped with the capacity to guide you from this mountaintop view, giving you suggestions and intuition and guidance and love and light and protection, and filtering out some of the experiences that are perhaps attempting to come your way, but that you're not ready for or they're not relevant. This body helps filter and guide the energetic and physical life, the individual. So it's kind of like a bridge. It draws upon the intelligence of the even higher bodies, less individualized. But it is able to give that light and guidance and make it specific to the individual life. It sees the movie of your life. Usually when people begin resting as the witness, this is kind of the level that they begin to access. This is the witness, the bridge between the non-individuated I and the I am over here of the physical and emotional body. So feel this singular field penetrating the physical body and the energetic body. And it's energizing you. It's awakening you. There's an increase in brightness, in lucidity, in clarity. Do you notice? You're paying more attention to yourself. You're more aware. Now we're going to open up to the body which begins to, in a sense, lose touch with the specifics of your life. It doesn't really give a fuck. It's just blissful. It's just light. So imagine this as a spherical field of light that is about the size of this room. And it's just in ecstasy. You could say it's the first individuated body from the God state down. God experiencing itself as a field, as a body. It's the bliss body. But again, it's not really interested in this dream you're dreaming. It doesn't really see it. It's just available as a pure field of ever-present ananda, or bliss, or light. So surrender into that body, that level of spaciousness, and you can begin to feel how the concerns of your life begin to take a back seat. And the light, the vibrancy, the surrender, the trust, the all is well, all is ecstatic, all is abundant that is innate to this field begins to perforate and penetrate the mind body, the emotional energetic body, and the physical body. Allow it to pervade, to enter into every cell of the physical body. Absorb it. Magnetize, attract that energy into your body. Feel expanded. Feel like nothing matters. Feel like nothing belongs to you and you couldn't care less about anything. Everything is good. Everything is fine. Everything is blissful. All is well. There's only love and light. Surrender to this light, this spacious, vast, ascended, concentrated with light, saturated with clarity and surrender and the beginning stages of formlessness, freedom, bliss. Feel it. And allow your bodies to communicate with it, to receive this higher vibration, attune your tuning fork, your radio station, to the channel of I don't care about anything bliss because everything is fine and God and beautiful. Rest into that, surrender into that. Where your problems begin to disappear from view. You notice? The sense of linear time and the meaning and importance placed on objects. There are no objects in this field except its own field. The vibrancy of pure energy, of pure light. 
and it feels delicious. It's literally like taking a bath in light, like diving in this huge, vast swimming pool of intelligent light where linear time does not arise, where concepts do not appear. There's just the brightness of bliss. Now feel the outline of this vast, huge, bright body. Light as it feels, vast as it feels, find the edge of it. Feel the size of it. It's humongous as a body, but it has a limit. Feel that limit. Go to where it begins to fade and end. This is like stepping out of the swimming pool and into the ocean of everythingness. Literally, the light that enables all perception. The God state of pure, locationless, all pervading, everywhereness, isness. No longer individuated. No longer me or mine or my body. This is the body. This is the body of God. This is the body of everyone. And from this non-local, infinite field of pure light, which is the very substratum of all of creation, the essence, the substance out of which every other distortion of energy is created, rest in that isness that you know instinctively belongs to all things, to all of matter, to all of the universe, to all creatures, to all entities, to all other bodies, the infinite the infinitude of bodies exist due to, thanks to, the body of everythingness, of God, of isness, of pure light, all-pervading light, the impersonal light, the non-dual light. There is no duality. There's no sense of a subject and an object. There's just an instinctive knowing of oneness, of all-pervasiveness, of this is the I in every equation. Every I am shares this I, the light of I, the all-seeing I, the ever-watchful I, the ever-present I-I. Feel your everythingness at this level. See it extend infinitely in all directions, in all times, in all spaces, therefore making it really non-local, non-time, non-space because it comprehends all of these simultaneously. This is the perfected light. This is the original light. This is what enables perception. All form is enabled by this isness of this infinite body of God. This body is the first sign of manifestation. Of isness of presence. Feel the unconditional love component that's naturally, obviously there. Not in a personal way. In an unconditional way. The field of formless, unconditional love filled to the brim with an everythingness light. And yet, even this field of everythingness is pervaded 
with the awareness that's aware of it. Awareness is even more empty, even more formless than light and love. Not the mental awareness of the witness, but that pure intelligence which is ever present with every perception, including the perception of God. Awareness is like the formless container for the entire manifestation, for nothing has ever occurred outside of awareness, for perception cannot exist apart from awareness. So awareness is the true creator, the true intelligence, to that free will, that free agency. Rest as awareness, not the witness, not the subject, but the awareness that's one with and even beyond everythingness. The true I, I. filled with love light, but it is intelligent and awake to the light, completely non-dual. Then beyond that, there's one more step. Ask awareness to turn around towards where it came from. See if it can perceive or understand or intuit where awareness came from. Not the witness, that everythingness awareness. If you want to. Be curious. What was I before awareness, before consciousness, before experiences. What's the source of awareness? And with that, the source of everythingness. What's beyond awareness? what's prior to awareness. In order to intuit this, you need to understand you have to go beyond experiences, which is all we've ever identified with, is experiencing. See if you can recognize something infinitely perfect beyond experiencing. From where all experiencing came, whence awareness came. The one great original infinite indescribable reality before any manifestation before any perception What's on the other end of the black hole? 